Hello everyone. So today I am going to explain you what is 14 principles of management. It's very easy to understand. There are some 14 principles which was developed by Henry Fayol. He was the father of fundamental of principles. Okay, fundamentals of management. And uh, to understand and to remember these 14 principles, there is a small technique how you can remember. Okay. In this, first you remember USSR. USSR is nothing but a place. Uh, previously, it's it's nothing but a Russia. Okay. Previously, we used to call Russia as USSR. I mean, it's a code word like USA. So that's that's how USSR you they used to call. Okay. Union of Soviet Republic. Uska naam USSR. So you remember the word USSR. Okay. So yaha, how you have to add is see dad. A son is asking to his father, dad, you see USSR. So in that sense, dad is replying, oh, I see. So this is how you remember, dad, you see USSR, oh, I see. So uh, D is nothing but division of work. A is authority, of, uh, authority and responsibility. D is discipline. U is unity of command. C is centralization and decentralization. U is unity of direction, S is subordinates of individual interest to general interest, S scalar chain of management, R remuneration, O order, I initiative, S stability of tenure, E equity and last one E spirit de corps. Okay, now we'll understand step by step what all this means. Whenever uh, one basic thing if you are reading the subject of uh, principles of management organization behavior so think that you are looking in the perspective of uh, organization okay so in the organization you are looking in that perspective so every time you try to write your own uh, you know own uh, uh, perspective own point of view in the in the view of organization okay so dad first d division of work in an organization, there should be a division of work from, you know, like it should not be like Ek bande ko diya, nahi. division of work from like it should goes from separate, separate people to the separate people. Like, for example, you should know the right capability of the people, right expert who is right skilled person for that work. So the work should be divided. For example, if you have a sales development team, okay, you have to do a sales launch. So in that. First, one person will decide the location, one person will decide the blueprint, one person will do. So you have the manager or anyone, the management should decide, should divide the work in such a way that the work should complete faster. So the division of work should be there. Okay, division of work. <coughs> authority and responsibility. The name itself says authority. Authority is nothing but order. The person who gives an order that is called authority. Responsibility. The person who holds the responsibility. Responsibility is nothing but liability. Okay. So authority. You remember authority flows from top to bottom. Okay. The CEO. Jo bade, for example. Uh, in terms if you see in an organization. Or if you see GND college. Okay. The principal and the Balbir Singh has the opportunity. You know. To uh, has the authority to. Uh, tell and give the order or make an order or to make the decisions responsibility is like teachers they have divided the syllabus to the teachers in sub separate subjects okay so that subject has to be that is the responsibility of a teacher they have to complete the syllabus within the time if they don't complete so it's their responsibility at the end of the day okay next next we come discipline in an organization there should be a discipline you know, there should be some ethics, there should be, you know, like some uh, standard uh, rules or restrictions which has to be followed. So discipline of work is very important. Unity of command. Unity of command means information flows from C CEO to uh, vice, uh, vice president and vice president to manager, then manager to team leader. So unity, always command should flow, you know, like in a, in a, in a, in a particular direction. Okay, in that direction only it has to be flow. Or else what happened is if the CEO se direct agar subordinates ke paas gaya, wo samajh nahi paega. Okay. So it has to flow in a particular manner. Then it like it's it's a, it's kind of a chain, unity of command from manager from CEO to vice president, vice president to manager, 
manager to the team leader then to the supervisor then to the employee so this is how it works that is called unity of command centralization and decentralization uh, centralization is nothing but you know in olden days pehle raja log hote the king and all everyone okay so how they used to do unke mantri log sab sambhalte the ek hi jagah ek hi baith ke ek center district hota tha and everyone used to you know like follow that same rules and they have to manage that is called centralization okay decentralization it's nothing but for example now uh, in india there are so many cm central is different pm is different okay but centralization is nothing but cm individual cm is been appointed to the separate states so states is been handled by a uh, state cm itself wahan par pm kuch aake kuch nahi kar payega unless he has his constituency to uh it's like ja tere ko maine wahan wo sambhal le it's like go and watch to the uh, northern side of uh, india that's your territory that's kind of decentralization in organization also same thing uh if a division departments have been created for the separate like business department uh, sales department promotional department advertisement department also uh, engineering department separate departments have been created in an organization and those department is been headed by their own manager and their own leader okay that is called decentralization okay centralization each of the each of the department has to report to the one person that is called ceo or the uh, vice president or managing director okay so that is called centralization unity of direction what is unity of direction same it is nothing but unity of command if if see if uh, uh, the direction is like if you if you note if you came to know some order from authority from the top level management then it has to be followed from the top to the bottom in a you know from direct top it cannot go to the lower it has to be go from top first then middle then lower that is called unity of direction okay always has to follow you know step by step process okay and and unity of direction is also uh, it's like uh, two people cannot uh, like unity of direction is nothing but two people cannot work at the same time matlab two projects cannot work at the same time if if you are uh, if you are giving some work to the some people then you have to uh, do that work in a uh, in a single set of time you cannot do two work at the same time so unity of direction is nothing but allocate the time allocate the project allocate the task in a set of time manner where he, he or she can perform the activity okay unity of direction okay in a, in a in a same unity should perform that direction should perform that work subordinates of individual interest to general interest subordinates are nothing but employees if you are working under someone uh, like the manager manager ka subordinate kon hai employees like for example principal principal subordinates who are the subordinates teachers staff uh, and uh, non hand uh, non uh, non teaching staff they are the subordinates so subordinates are you know the subordinates subordinates of individual interest to general interest whoever come in an organization they have their own interest to follow and they have their own interest to uh, work across so a management duty is to change their in individual interest to general interest what is general interest company's interest so what is company's interest to reach towards the common good so individual interest to general interest so we it's a duty and it's a responsibility of a management to change a subordinate individual interest their interest to company's interest means they should work accordingly they should work you know like with enthusiastic way in a enthusiastic manner okay uh, next come scalar chain of management scalar chain of management everything flows from top middle level okay it's it's in a flow it's a streamlined process okay there is no breakage no no you know like no command or no breakage in the middle it flows from top to the bottom okay remuneration remuneration is nothing but uh, employees salary okay remuneration is paisa okay this paisa is like everyone is hunger for the money so employees ko jab agar tum paisa de rahe ho to in this you should give paisa in such a manner ki uska expertise uska capability uska capacity in the work that should matter you should scale everything and then you have to give decide the how much i should pay 
okay remuneration is nothing but deciding the payment uh, to the right person to the right capacity of that person ओके ऐसा नहीं है कि वो थोड़ा ही काम कर रहा है उसको मैं दे रहा हूं एक लाख नो इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट एक्सपर्ट स्किल्ड यू शुड यू नो यू शुड डिवाइड इन दैट एंड देन यू शुड बेस्ड ऑन देयर कैपेसिटी कैपेबिलिटी एंड स्किल यू शुड गिव देयर रेमुनरेशन यू शुड गिव देयर मनी ओके सैलरी ऑर्डर ऑर्डर इज नथिंग बट यू नो दैट ऑर्डर इज नथिंग बट गिविंग ऑर्डर यू हैव टू डू द वर्क दैट इज ऑर्डर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑलवेज गिव एन ऑर्डर टू तुमको ये काम करना है तो करना है okay there is no other uh, thing initiative initiative is linked to the subordinates initiative is always like management should give some opportunities to the subordinates matlab management should give some opportunities to the employees ki they should bring some new initiative matlab new innovative ideas at their work environment matlab they should not follow the same process or same everything they should give some initiative or they should bring some new change in the organizational culture that is called initiative employees itself you know like initiative manager ke paas to nahi aata so it's aata hai but the thing is they expect something everyone has their different mindset so employees ke taraf se bhi kuch naye initiative aa sakte hain matlab kuch naye changes it's like initiatives are nothing but suggestions it's like if if they have some suggestions they can take it and if they got them some suggestions then they can work on it and they can you know implement that one so that is initiative stability of tenure stability of tenure isko kaise yaad rakhna hai to it's like government job okay uh, so uh, for example i will give a example of my friend arun uh, he is uh, uh, you know like he's he's studying with me right now mba and also he has uh, you know a government job as a part time so he has a tenure usko permanent hai abhi job so even if he don't get the job he have a fixed job he have a stability he have a promising job to him so that he have his security okay tenure tenure is nothing but a, you know it's it's a time period of a working so stability should be there you know agar company mein tum ek organization mein kisi ko le rahe ho to us bande ko ye dar nahi rehna chahiye ye mere ko aaj nahi to kal nikal denge अगर वैसा रहा तो वो ठीक से काम नहीं कर पाएगा ही विल ऑलवेज कीप थिंकिंग टू चेंज बट इफ इफ अ फ्रेंड लाइक अरुण ही ही उसको लाइक हा है तो है डजेंट मैटर सो सेम लाइक एज गवर्नमेंट इज डूइंग सेम लाइक प्राइवेट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और योर कंपनी शुड डू द सेम यू शुड गिव द बिलीफ एंड द प्रोमिस टू द एम्प्लॉय दैट योर जॉब इज सेफ एंड सिक्योर इफ अगर सेफ एंड सिक्योर है then that is called stability if you give stability to them they will work with more motivation okay then last one we come with equity don't confuse this equity with uh, uh, you know with finance world okay finance ka equity alag hai ye equity alag hai this equity is nothing but equality this is nothing but you should have whatever uh, you work whatever you do uh, or else whatever the um, uh, work is been uh, transferring to you that should be equally distributed equal opportunity should be given to the subordinates okay employees ko equal opportunity dena chahiye next spirit the cops this is a spirit the cops is a french word okay <laughs> sorry for that a spirit the cop is a french word uh, it's like togetherness it's like we feeling it's like you know a union saath milke kaam karna okay with this with this help they will work together in a unity and also they will work together so that their all alternatives their all you know like kind of uh, activities their suggestions come up together and they can make their new plans and strategy so spirit the cops is nothing but it's a togetherness feeling we feeling kind of thing so we feeling and togetherness and also uh, working in a unity form okay so this is entire uh, 14 principles done by henry fayol okay so how you how you can remember dad you see uh, asan is asking to dad dad you see ussr okay and that ussr dad is replying to his son oh i see okay so dad you see ussr you should remember that okay with this uh, i complete thank you so much